Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Steve from Trip Gaming. Today's video is gonna be sick, man. We got uh, the top uh, number one deck profile of ARG Canada States Dylan Fricker's profile of his number one spot. I faced him in Swiss at the tourney. I came fourth at this tourney. Uh, uh, I beat he beat me in Swiss, and then I would have faced him in finals. But then I did a little stupid misplay. I forgot about the firewall OTK. I didn't account for it. I left an electrum up and got OTK. Uh, so it was my fault for misplay. I couldn't stop it, but. Uh, he won. We have the sick profile for him. Uh, we're going to go right into it. Uh, also, before I go into it, we have to do some bodybuilding because it's all about fitness too. And uh, about money. It's not just about uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not just about games. It's about doing something with your lives too. Uh, you can achieve anything you want in the world. So don't forget. Uh, it's not just about games. It's about actually doing something with your life. Before we go into it, check out my links in the description below for my Amazon. If you're going to buy anything from protein powder to PS4s to anything, use that link in the des description below. I'll put my protein powders down, which I used. Uh, I'm going to eventually get shredded with it. And also check out my Patreon. I'll make any deck you want sick if you pledge. And uh, let's go right into the videos, man. We're going to go straight into lifting. And after lifting, we're going to go straight into uh, straight into Yu-Gi-Oh! So just a sick little clip for me lifting to motivate you guys to start going to the gym as well. So if you haven't already got your gym membership, go get it now. See you at the workout. So yo, I told you guys this isn't your average Yu-Gi-Oh channel. It's about some. It's about mainly Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. But we're gonna be doing a lot of life stuff too. You gotta get ripped. You gotta get ripped. You gotta make money. You gotta rich, get rich and ripped. That's a lifestyle, rich and ripped. So don't forget that. It's way more important. If you haven't already gone to the gym or you haven't already worked on your money or you haven't already started doing your homework, if you haven't done any of those three or at least two of those three. Go do it before you watch this video. Go do it before you play any Yu-Gi-Oh. That's way more important than playing any Yu-Gi-Oh. So make sure you do that, and then after that, play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Some fun. This is the video of Dylan Frickers. Top number one deck profile of ARG kind of states. Check it out. Oh, what's good, guys? Your boy Steve from Trip Gaming. We got Dylan Fricker over here. The Dylan Fricker won two regionals and just won ARG Canada. I even know what well, this one is called ARG Barry, whatever it is. He won the same one that I was supposed to win. I lost the top four, but he won. He beat me in Swiss, playing a crazy Goki deck. It was insane. Almost as insane as this guy's, but it was absolutely remarkable. He won. Bro, how do, how do you feel about the tournament today, bro? It was good. Like, uh, Goki's the best I can perform at, but Easy W's for you, right? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Alright, lit, lit, lit. Let's go straight to the profile, bro. Okay, so, best Goki monster, three super X. Uh, you want to draw this one. It's like the best normal summon in the deck. And it, it, it combats hand traps really well. So you just want to draw this. I play three Twist Cobra. I three? Think, yeah, I think this is, like, kind of important. Uh, some people disagree, but I, I want to open a Goki. Um, and, like... Uh, drawing this card and this card and this card, like they just all suck. Like you just don't want to draw them because you can't full combo and you see like use more cards in your hand. So I wanted to draw this uh, more often. It's like an easy side out. I always set up the ugly freaking star foil. I uh, want to go second. Cost. <laughs> but um, yeah, like um, I, I think it's really important to draw a good key because you have so many extenders and sometimes your problem is just not opening a good key. So that's why I play three. Uh, you have to play two Octo Strikes, but you can't debate on this because if you draw one, then your whole combo's dead. Uh, and it's like, it's also really good, like, searching as a follow-up and then searching rematch for Link Creepo for next turn. It's amazing. Uh, I played Super Scorpio. Two. This something, yeah, it's something a little weird. Wait, bro, in our match, didn't you hard draw one of them and just tribute something to the engage and just, like, wreck me? Yes. <laughs> My hand was so you, bad. Because you played two. Yeah. Maybe you bricked because you played two, but you also won because you played two. Yeah, like, the card is, is it, like, it works with all the extenders I play. Uh, it, it works really well with all the extenders I'm playing in my deck. So I wanted to play two, and it's like, I played two, so if you draw an extender, like, you still have full combo. And, like, Trickster can't get over it. They're 1900 <laughs> Garnets. Uh, so, yeah. And then uh, the two one-ups. Like, this card sucks to draw. Don't play two of this. Uh, it's really bad. Uh, it's like... Gotta yeah, tell all the scrub go Goki players, bro. <laughs> it's like, it sucks when you draw it, um, because you can't combo, but like, 
if you draw this in like a super X or like an extender, your hand is usually good enough to still make like goblin, phoenix with like a firewall or something. And that's like good enough to be tricksters or like, like the mirror matches are not running Borlord, which a lot of people are cutting. Uh, so these cards are like necessary. And then bear hug, cause like, um, like sometimes my hands are so bad. <laughs> Bro, it's I okay. Just, like, <laughs> you just summon that and you win against 90% of the meta, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, like, it's fine. So, I decided to do, like, obviously this is a little more than usual for Gokis. Yeah. But I decided to play it because, like, these are the cards you want to open with the extenders. Well, it worked, bro. You yeah, played yeah. all the Gokis. It worked out great for you, man. Yeah, and, like, the grind game, um, I killed my friend Ryan in the last round because I had a second one of this in deck. So, I can kill him with Super X on the normal summon. So, it's really good. Uh, the ability. Uh, the card's like actually not bad to draw. It's totally fine. Um, hand traps. I only played six. Uh, they're the only good ones. It's like Ash is Ash. This card is crazy. And then this deck, uh, this deck uh, can utilize this card really well because like you just kill them. You just draw them and then you just kill them because pure like you play through Widow Anchor so easy with this deck with Sky Striker cards. And then this going second against the Trickster Brandish deck is like auto win unless they open like hard draw scapegoat and hard draw reincarnation all those cards. So, these hand traps are like really, really good this format. I don't think you have to play any more. I don't think you play any less either because you have to see one of these in the mirror match. But that's like what the side deck is for. True. That's all the monsters I played. So for the broken one of spells, uh, I don't really have to explain these cards. Yeah. I resolve this a lot. This is fun. Uh, this card's good. This card's good. So three instant fusion. Uh, this card is the best extender. Um, it's Yo, bro, like bro, bro. Everyone plays. Uh, a lot of people play three, but. What do you think two might be the best just because it's a hard ones per turn? It is a hard ones per turn, but like, um, it's just it's the best extender. And I don't play the level three engine. I tried today without the level three engine. I played Raijin, and it actually helped me break like Lycrisis so I don't get burned to death, or like negates. Or five see. negates for pendulums. Helps you break that and then put yeah, up yeah. a pookie board. Yeah, yeah. So, like, and, and it works really well with your Scorpio because it's just normal and that can fusion. Uh, it works really well with every, like, card in my deck, so I want to play three. And it also, also just, like, beats impermanence because you just normal this, use the effect, the impermanence, and you just insta fusion win. Good points, good points. You're right. You're right. This card's really good. And then the best cards in the deck uh, three Hornet oh. Drones, three Engage. These are the best cards, like, far and away. Um, this is how going second is, like, super, super easy against the Trickster Branch deck. Um, there's like so many. This is one card Phoenix. Uh, this and two Go Keys. You take two cards from your opponent and you go full extra link combo. Um, these cards are just so good. And they're obviously really good extenders going first. And like mid game, mid to late game, like I resolve this a lot. Just draw one. It's like my hand's bad and I'm grinding. Like you, you just keep drawing cards and it's really good. Because this deck only needs two cards to combo, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, these cards are amazing. Three, Call by the Grave. Yeah. Uh, this Try to play it. Right. Yeah, like the deck loses to Droll like really, really hard. Um, it's also like pretty good against the Droll reincarnation combos. Like it's really good in the mirror match. It's like amazing in the mirror match. Okay, so bro, if, let's say you didn't draw called, so yeah. you did not draw called by the grave, and someone drolled you. Uh, let's say you open just a like, regular combo. Let's say two uh, super X and another Guki. What, what do you think would be the best board? Just for the other Goku players out there, just to know. Uh, could you put up any board under a draw? You can definitely put up a board, and if you if you're opening like Super X and a Goki, like that means like you're setting up for next turn pretty well. Um, if someone draws me and I don't have calls, um, I usually can you put, put up, up any protection. Yeah, like Goblin Phoenix, like that works really well. Goblin Phoenix Service or something like that, because like a lot of decks in the meta like don't have outs. Oh, true. So that's really really good. Yeah, but call is like super important. I wish we could play like way more. Two Goki rematch. So this is like something that people have been playing for a while. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really good. Like I bricked, I think one game because I like drew it in like no Gokis. But what can you do? Like it won me so many games in grinding today. Because yeah. against like the Trickster Brandish, um, they're gonna hand trap you at least once or twice in the first turn. And so like you set up with floaters. Shout out to Jesse. He taught me like how to go second, how to play through cards and stuff like that. You just have to like. What do you mean, yo? Yo, you learn it yourself, bro. You're the Dylan Fricker. You have 2,000 billion regional wins, bro. You win every regional. What's Jesse ever done? Oof. Oof. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, two rematch. It's pretty standard. Uh, two club spells. These cards are, like, really important. And de so, definitely this one, right? Yeah, so this one is standard. Like, it just yeah, makes yeah, all your Nightmare yeah. cards, like, free. The, the other one's better than Moon Mirror, Autonomous, actually. So, yeah, so what this does, it's like a Twin Twister going second against the Pure or the Trickster Brandish. So you just normal summon a Goki. Uh, so 
would say, like, you know, almost on this. Yeah, equip this. Uh, make it lose 500, pop a back row. Then, like, you have to hit any extender, make us all that. Oh, yeah, go assault, yeah. Then you make us all that, and then this re-equips, and you make it lose 500, pop yeah, it on the back row. Yeah. So, I was like, it's just like a 20 Yeah, that's game. way better. Why? Are, you know, some people play move mirror and stuff, I think that's 10 times better, bro. You're yeah, right. like, I don't, know, I don't agree with that at all. Like, yeah. I think this card is, like, really good. It won yeah. me a few games uh, going second. It's like, you, um, you have, like... Essentially, like these are twin twisters and these are twin twisters in a sense. Um, and then the last thing I played was the Phantom Ice Trap. So I like, like this card, man. I really do. This card's good. It's just like more extenders to go with yeah. your Gokis. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to play Jump Forward because it conflicts with the branch cards. Because I think just like the branch cards are infinitely better because they go second, like way better than Jump Forward does. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. So that was my main deck. Love it. Yep. So extra tokens. Just the Peter Zhao. Firewall, like, it's getting yeah. banned, like, 1,000%. Unfortunately, man, forget your Goki deck, bro. I just wanted a Link for it interruption for Pendulums, man. Now, because of you, because of you guys, it's going to get banned. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty stupid. You use it, like, what, like, seven, eight times in the combo? It's pretty dumb. Uh, Borlub, so, uh, with the main reason I cut the Rank 3 package, and, like, I know the Rank 3 package is amazing, and Invoker's great Ash bait, but I wanted to try uh, the deck without the Rank 3 package because extra XP is really tight for me, and I needed to grind a little bit better and have more outs to cards, in a sense. Uh, so I played Borload. Uh, like, it was good. I outed my opponent's Borload, which is really important, because I would have yeah. had no other out to it. Yeah. Uh, Unicorn, Trigate, uh, these are standard. Yeah. Uh, two Assault Day. Don't play one, please don't. <laughs> yeah, like, two's like, super important, uh, because turn one, if you get like Drolled or Ash or something, like you just sit on floaters, and then next turn you just kill them. Yeah. So like this card is like super good. Yeah. So two goblin. Uh, I want to play one of this and the two phoenix, but it's like it, it's you can't combo if you play yeah. the two phoenix and the goblin yeah. if you draw ably. Uh, so it's like important I guess to play uh, phoenix Cerberus. These cards are really good. Uh, like I use these like almost every game. They're just amazing. And then the mermaid. Yeah. This card's really good too. Yeah. So link two for the combo is underclock. Underclock. So yeah, like it's I OTK someone with it today, and like um, if you watch the deck profile, um, Aaron Furman's deck, and like what Jesse taught me and stuff, like it just makes the combo like a lot easier. True. Get, like, like net cards from your hand, it's really nice. Link Rebo, Kagari. So this was another luxury I was able to have when I got the rank three package. Cause you can just like Kagari add back drones, drones yeah. like make a link two, like pop whatever you need to, or like make a Soldey hard such a warrior. Yeah. Like it's just really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and then the one right. So I didn't miss anything. It was, it was perfect all day. So you don't regret the, not playing Invoker? No, like they were threes? literally zero times today where my hand was like instant fusion hand trap and that was the only play I had. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh man, I wish I played Invoker and Dragon yeah. Like it was it happened zero times. Yeah. So I, I I don't know like how relevant it was. I feel like it's pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing this. Cutting the right threes, but I will I will continue to test. So for the side deck, but two Ghost Dugger. Three cherries and two ghost spell. So this is for like pure brandish. This is for the mirror match as well. This is for the mirror. This is for the mirror. I don't really like siding this against the mirror. I just didn't have anything else to side today. Um, Cause like good Goki players will just play around this. Everybody's playing two rematch now, right? Yeah. So it's like not as good as it once was. Um, three cher cherries is like a blow up in the mirror match. It's like insanely hard to combo through unless your hand is like really good. Like you draw two extenders and like yeah. a Goki um, and like a reborn card. Like it it's just very hard to combo through. And then Ghost Ogre is uh, good against the pure branch deck because they're always trying to resolve multi roll turn one. Um, and it's really good in the mirror because you just Ogre Firewall and they can't really do much. So, yeah. And then uh, three twin. Yeah. This card is amazing. Uh, like, I already have so many ways to go second with the branch cards. Um, but, like, I just needed sometimes. Like, uh, if they like droll you, like you want to discard your Gokis so you can revive them back later in the turn, like rematch or something, like ditching, hitting two back row, making them chain cards when it's like not good for them is like super important. And it may like seem bad in theory, but just hitting the cards when it's not ideal for them to activate it is really important. So, like, yeah. three twin. And also, since like you only need two cards to combo, so who cares? Yeah, yeah, start? exactly. Like, that's the thing with this deck. That's why it's so broken. Because it's like two cards. Just... You love decks like that, bro. First, Spy Spiral God transformed to Gookie Future God. Oh. Who knows, man? <laughs> uh, two red reboot. So this is for yeah. degenerate, yeah. uh, degenerate decks. <laughs> yeah. Like Alter Guys, yeah. Chu Draco. Just a Joe. Um, I really, really like dislike those decks. And it's, it's really hard for me game one to beat those decks. 
because rivalry is a card. Um, but like, yeah, this, this is really good. I didn't really have to side it in today because I didn't play any against the gender decks. I just played like all tricksters and trickster vanish. Easy boys? Pretty much. Uh, then we played three evenly. Yeah. Uh, this card is amazing against the yeah. pure brandish deck. You can ask Ganon about that. Uh, so this card is like amazing. Um, it's good. I don't know if I'd set it against the mirror. It's good against you. <laughs> um, this card is It's like, good if you appear with a draw or something. But if I negate it with my 50 million negates, uh, that's not resolving. Yeah, no boosting here. Uh, yeah, You're right, my bad. Seven. <laughs> yeah, this card is really, really good uh, like, against pure. And sometimes like going second, if you draw like... If you draw a hand trap, like one of these, yeah. like sometimes it's like just enough. I think to having, having a hand trap and it evenly is like really, really good because you won't let them put up a big board and you evenly them and then they cry. Yeah. But bro, sure. that, that was a sick profile, man. Uh, do you remember your matches by any chance? Uh, so round one, I played against uh, Sekka's Light BA, <laughs> which was a very hard matchup because <laughs> my deck, <laughs> my deck loses to hand traps and the deck was like 17 hand traps <laughs> and he cherried ogred valored me game one i still managed to win um round two i think i played against uh, pure brandish and game one i just actually comboed him and then yeah. game two i drew twin twister yeah. and that was game yeah and then round three i played against uh, i played against you Oh yes, you face yeah. the god. Yes, yes, yes. Um, by some miracle, I managed to come up victorious. <laughs> hey, that, was a, <laughs> that was a great match, man. That was a great that match. Was, that was really that close. Was yeah, match. like our hands game three were so bad. Yeah, we both break game <laughs> three. Like I played, I played with Scorpio beat down. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That was fun. Um, yeah. So game, game one, you just like comboed me and said in pure order, which was like disgusting. And then game two, I comboed you, and then you sphere moded me, like you always do. And I still couldn't win. And you still couldn't win. No, literally, after that, it taught me, forget a sphere mode, man. I'm actually citing every hand trap onto mankind now, just for your deck. Forget sphere mode. That's not even a win, man. You still have five cards. You played around it nicely, then game three, yeah, yeah, yeah. you well, just played Scorpio, well, beat like, down, you like won. With the, with the, <laughs> with the, uh, with, like, the, the combo, like, I don't like to use my servers, so I just yeah. have, like, these. And then I have like all of these in the extra deck. Yeah. So when you stream mode me, like you stream mode me, yeah. and then uh, your negates didn't matter. Cause, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I just broke it yeah. Yeah. with like unicorn stuff. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. really that relevant. Yeah. And then round four, I played against uh, Ryan Yu, yeah. uh, my friend. Uh, I lost him because he draw reincarnation me game three. And I didn't draw like any uh, out. Yeah. That's super unfortunate. Yeah. Um, and then round five, I played against Pure Brandish again. Yeah. And uh, like I just. You got the buy. Uh, this guy was like really really good with the deck. Yeah. Uh, and he drew the stones like all three. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were playing right beside me that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I took him to game three and then I just OTK'd him. Yeah. Twin Twister, because Twin Twister yeah. is like really really good against the pure yeah. deck. Yeah. So yep. So shout outs. Uh, biggest shout out is to World Club Games. Yes. Team, uh, best locals in Canada. For the record, by the way, this entire this entire ARG, the whole top eight was eight of us, eight from Royal Club Games, man. We literally sweep the entire top eight. Yeah, uh, this place is broken. Uh, come by. Uh, best locals in Canada. Uh, shout outs to Ray, shout outs to Peter, shout outs to Siobhan, I bully him a lot. Uh, shout outs to Shad, shout outs to Gabe, uh, shout outs to Gannon, shout outs to Christian, shout outs to Benny, shout outs to Mark, shout outs to everybody in the group chats, shout outs to Jesse, my man. Uh, and then, like, just shout outs to everybody else who helps me with decks and, like, chills at locals. You guys are cool. Damn and shout to you. Damn okay, I was a little hurt for a bit, man. You almost forgot me, man. Right, anyways, yo. That was a profile. Hope you guys liked it. You already know he's going to be winning some YCS soon. Maybe he'll get a top and a win a Nats. Who knows? See you guys next video. Peace. Yo, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, good job, Dylan Figure, finishing first place. Shout out to Royal Club Gaming. That is our sponsor, my and Dylan's. Uh, we sweep the whole event top eight easily. Uh, we're going to continue to do more. Uh, we're the best team in the world. Uh, you Americans are lucky that we don't live in America. Otherwise, you'll be botting you and your whole team. Easy, all you guys. Also, shout out to Pablo area. Uh, I told you I'd give you a shout out, bro. You're a big fan. I got you. I got you. I'm a man of my word. And lastly, uh, a little hype for this, man. Uh, your boy Steven is about to be dueling. Uh, a lot of you guys view this guy as a Yu-Gi-Oh great. I view him as a Yu-Gi-Oh bum. Calvin Tahan, come through, bro. Come through. I'm challenging you. Don't duck me. We're going to be streaming on Farfoot's channel. Me versus Calvin Tahan. It's going to be a Swift 2-0. Greatest deck in the world, Pendulums. Versus bum ass ABCs. It's gonna be a real quick 2 0. Little fun match. I respect Calvin. I respect him. I respect this guy's like the, a the ABC version of me, except he's like a Costco version of me. So I'm gonna destroy him on stream for you guys. Uh, I'll respect him though. I do respect him, but I will still destroy you, bro. And lastly, uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. 
And if you guys are into lifting already, because you have to, because bodybuilding is real life now, uh, go buy a uh, protein product creating using the description below. You'll need it to get ripped. And uh, check out my Patreon or buy anything from Amazon. Thank you guys for the support, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.